Welcome back to another episode. I know it's been a while. I've pulled a muscle in my neck a couple weeks ago, and then it was Thanksgiving, and now we're finally back out here. But, uh, you know, if you've seen some of the other videos, the rear end has been kind of seized up or locked up. Uh, and my best guess, I haven't pulled the rear diff cap off, but I'm hoping that's okay. And I'm hoping these brake drums are just seized up on here, rusted to it. Um, which would be my best guess considering this truck has been sitting for so long. But the way these ones come off, it's not like a normal brake drum where you just take the wheel off and the drums come off. There's eight other bolts that hold the whole hub that has the axle on it on there. So we have to take that whole axle out to be able to change the brakes on this. And I'm not necessarily gonna change the brakes today, but I'm gonna take this hub off and take all those old brake shoes off um, and just slide this drum back on for now because I'm not gonna be going on the road anytime soon. I just wanna be able to put wheels on it so I can roll the truck around a little easier. But uh, that's what we're gonna do today. So we're gonna get these this hub off, I guess, better word for it. Um, we're gonna work on that. When you are doing this, it is important that you jack up the side that you are going to be taking the hub off of and let the other side sit down lower so you don't lose all of your gear oil. Well, I don't know if you just saw that. When I took this off, that looked like water coming out, which is a little bit worrisome. I mean, it doesn't look super rusty on the actual axle itself. Oh, uh, there's a a little bit of stuff right here on this end, but it wipes right off. It looks like there was enough oil in here. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I think I'm gonna be just a hair too long. I'm half tempted to cut this with a grinder down each half and see if I can split it back here with the drum. If I can cut it through back here to about here on each side, I might be able to separate it enough to pull it off. Once you get the rear axle out, there's usually a little retainer clip in here and I, I don't see one in here right now, unless it's just under that nasty kind of rustiness, corroded stuff. But after you get that retainer clip out, this little wheel here, you can kind of see the little teeth on it. Inside there, on the vision of the light. That'll unthread out. Um, there is a tool for that. I don't have the tool for that, so I'm gonna see if I can get it just with some pliers or maybe a screwdriver. But that'll unthread out and that should make it able to where we can just, well, still beat this thing off, but we still got a ways to go. All right, for some reason, there's not a retainer clip in here, but if you can see, oh, I might have to move this light right in here see how there's well blocking this this is gonna be hard to do without blocking the light by myself if you can see these little tabs that are around here on the edges not the little holes but next to them like this little tab right there well, down here on this bottom one right over here if they folded the tab into that I don't know if that's all it's supposed to be if there's supposed to be a clip in here but this one's folded over into one of these little grooves to keep it from unspinning so we're gonna have to try to pop that out Hold that out, which I'm gonna need two hands for, so I'm not gonna be able to do this with the camera, I don't think. And then hopefully this will slide right out. There is play on this nut, it slides left and right, so that's not seized up, thank God. But uh, I'm gonna try to get this popped off and see if we can get this nut off here, and uh, I'll show you where we're at in a minute. All right, so I got all of, uh, I got that pin flipped out, and look, this just spins right out now. Oh, I might need this there still. Well, it's awkward to hold the camera and do this at the same time because I'm watching what I'm doing, not really paying attention to the camera, so I apologize if it's a little funky looking in the video. I'm also not good with my left hand, so there's that too. Almost there. Oh, 
my stupidity self forgot to do all this before I started cutting into the drum. I don't really think that was wasted time though because I do still think the drum is seized up on there. It still wasn't spinning left to right uh, when I was uh, after the axle's taken out, so I still think the drum's gonna be seized on there pretty solid, but maybe the banging will help with this now that I got this out of the way. Can't believe I forgot about this. <sighs> Shows you how much of a mechanic I am. Do a lot of this stuff, apparently. Not. Let's see if we can get this off. There we go. I'm gonna set it over here with this other stuff. And then, let's see, I don't know. I'm not sure if these need to come out. Yep. So this is that lock. This is what was holding it on there. Okay, there we go, dropped it. That's okay, we're gonna clean it off or get a new one. So all these little teeth here. All these little teeth that are sticking up on here, they had one folded over the little groove that was on that nut. So I guess maybe this is their retention kind of clip that they had in there. After we got that out, Ooh, I'm gonna have to wipe my camera down after this. There's yet another nut that spins right on out of here. And like I said, most of this stuff should be all oiled and lubed up. And ugh, probably a tool for this too. Looks like the same kind of pattern. I do not have a tool. So, pliers, we'll do it. It spins pretty freely. Just gotta kinda work it around. Yeah, now we're getting real loose. There we go. Try to keep this stuff in order a little bit as best I can. All right, that stuff in there will come off later. That is, looks like a seal, maybe a bearing in there. I'm not sure I've never taken one apart like this, so yeah, we're still locked on there really good though. Let's see. So we're gonna try to pull this off now, again. Get back to beating it with a hammer, I suppose. Yeah, we're still gonna have some beating to do. Cool. All right, after a lot of cutting and prying and pulling and trying all sorts of other, uh, probably not safest way to do this, finally got it to this point where I think it's gonna be going soon. And I've been using just a pry bar and a hammer for the majority of it. So I'm hoping that these suckers come off here now. You can see where the shoes are hanging up on the bottom. I obviously don't care much about the hardware inside because it's all gonna need replaced. I'm more nervous that one of these springs is gonna fly off as I pop this thing off of here. I'm trying to keep my face back. The bottom of these shoes are hanging up so hard. I'm gonna find a longer bar. Maybe it's down to the bottom, maybe. Drum themselves aren't terrible, but I mean, it looks like 
It's just smoked in there. Look at all that brake dust. The actual back of the housing doesn't look bad. I mean, the hardware and all that stuff's definitely getting replaced. Everything in the brakes. But I'll be able to sandblast the back of it there. The axle here will, will clean up this little uh, shaft sleeve, whatever you want to call it. Holy cow, that took a while. Well, at least now I know what to do for the next one. Man, that was some work. My plan for the rest of this is to get all this old brake hardware off of here. I'm not even worried about replacing the hardware right now because we have a long ways to go before this truck is on the road. Um, so I'm gonna get this hardware off and actually and clean this up a little bit and just put this back on here because this has to be on here to be able to put the, uh, the axle back in so I can bolt the tires back on. So I wanna get all this stuff off so I can put this back on, not worry about it sliding back off, um, just so I can bolt that hub back on here be able to put a tire on here so we can roll it around freely. Um, hopefully the front brakes work. If not, it's not a big deal. I'm only going to be rolling it out of the garage and back in, if anything, probably. Just out of the way to where I could pull another car in here if I needed to work on it. Um, so I'm going to get this hardware off. Should just be basic kind of brake drum hardware, which is basic, but not as basic as you think. I find it annoying. So I'm going to rip this off. Well, I'm happy we figured out one side at least. We will uh, get to the other side another time. Obviously, I didn't put this back together tight. The specs, I don't have, I don't even have the, uh, the strum tied on it so I, as tight as it's supposed to go. But like I said, it's good enough for what I'm doing right now because it's all gonna come back out later. Um, that's all I'm gonna do today. I am going in to play with the girls. It's a nice day outside. We're gonna walk down to the park. So don't forget, feel your heart race, like, subscribe, see you next time.